Hey y'all, Chris Cook in Nashville here. I have a package from Keto Chow. Let's do something exciting. Let's see what they sent. It is that time of year. It is peppermint. Oh man, I bet these are good. You know what? I know just what we can do with these. All right, guys, we have the Keto Chow Peppermint. So what are we gonna do with Keto Chow Peppermint? Well, I'm gonna try to make my wife really happy. We are going to make chocolate peppermint keto bark. Let's make some Christmas candy. All right, y'all, so first step is going to be, for me, making the shattered peppermint-looking thing that's on top. Now, sugar-free candy canes are very expensive. If you can find them, Go ahead and smash those up, sprinkle it over the top if you would like. I'm gonna make my own version of something like that. So I'm going to use a half of a cup of allulose, cook it down into a sugar syrup with a little bit of red food coloring. I know, I know food coloring, but it's for Christmas, it's okay. I'm gonna do a half cup of this with a little red food coloring. I'm gonna make my own. I'll show you how we do it. Half cup of allulose. I'm gonna turn that on medium heat. A little red food coloring. Totally optional, just honestly doing this for looks. This is not going to affect the flavor in any way of the candy. We're just going to make some red sugar to crumble over the top. And then all we gotta do is melt it down. Okay, so we're just gonna get this melted down. We're gonna let it come up to temperature. Now if you wanted, you could put peppermint extract in this as well, but I don't find it to be necessary. I'm just stirring, I'm keeping this moving, and as soon as I know there are no granules left, I'm gonna pour it onto that cookie sheet sitting right there. Okay, there we go, it's starting to go, so we're gonna get it out of the pan. And we're just gonna let that cool down. So now I have a little bit of water in the bottom of this pan, I'm going to turn it onto a medium-low heat. We're gonna bring it up to a simmer, and then I have a metal bowl that I'm gonna to use to melt my chips down. That's all I got right now. That's all you got. <clears throat> That's all I got. So this is just about to start simmering. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down now to like a medium low, almost low, because I do not want this too hot. Bowl goes over top. We're gonna to start with milk chocolate. You could do dark chocolate, you could do semi-sweet, whatever you want. But I think for something like this, Milk chocolate's awfully nice. Now we wanna make sure that we do not cook this too fast. So we're gonna keep stirring it. You can see it's melting already. We wanna just get it liquid. I'm not trying to temper this chocolate so that it gets like a snap to it because that takes a lot of very close monitoring. I just wanna get it to be liquid so I can pour it. Just keep stirring. Once the lumps are basically gone, we come off the heat. Keep stirring, we do not want this to burn. Parchment paper. Right in the middle. Pour this all into one spot so that way it retains its heat until you're ready to spread it out. Okay, and then if you're fancy, get a little angled spatula action going on to just smooth off the top. Now I'm working quickly. You need to get this done before this gets too cold. While that's working, we're gonna get a fresh bowl. And we put a fresh bowl on top of the water. We're gonna take some white chocolate chips. We're gonna do the exact same thing. In with the white chocolate chips, once they start to liquefy, we're gonna add our peppermint keto chow. So 
Pickles of Peppermint. And we're going to mix that in. Okay, that comes together like a paste. Mix this together really well. So while this is still soft and is a pasty texture, put a second piece of parchment paper over it. Basically roll it out however thin you want. If it does not want to peel away, it probably just needs to cool a little bit more. Here's our red sugar. So we're gonna move this, which is almost like taffy onto a cookie sheet and put this in a fridge or freezer for a little while just to cool it down so it's a little firmer. Okay, so all we have to do is put these two together. This is just cool to be firm. It's a little sticky. That's all right, it's not gonna hurt anything. The chocolate does still need to be sort of wet looking on top. You do not want this to be completely cooled down and set yet. So all we need to do is take our white chocolate peppermint taffy and a large knife. So we're gonna run our knife under hot water so that it is warm, so that it goes through. Here we go. Think on your feet. Something's sticking a little bit too much, add a little more parchment paper to it. Okay, while this is still wet looking, Okay, so we're just gonna press this down and make sure everything is really in contact with the chocolate. And this is going to go into the freezer until the chocolate and the taffy type candy on top are fully set so that we can cut it. Take 30 minutes to an hour probably. All right, so we are going to take our candy out of the freezer. And you can see now it is not wet looking anymore. You can see it's totally firm to the touch. So all we're gonna do is put another piece of parchment paper over the top and we can cut it. Now, because I didn't temper the chocolate, um, it is going to be a little softer, which is why I'm going to cut it instead of snap it. I didn't want to go to the trouble of tempering the chocolate. I didn't want to go to the trouble of trying to cook the candy to a hard crack stage, which I actually had my wife Google just to remind myself and it's around 300 degrees. You can totally do that. I didn't want to go to the trouble of that. So this is, this is just a very simple version of the bark. But if you want to temper your chocolate so that it will snap and you want to cook your candy to hard crack stage, you can do that. Or honestly, if you want it to be easy, just buy some sugar-free candy canes. It works just as well. It does shatter a little bit, but it's just easier to cut it into pieces like that. 
But if you want to try to snap it and get it kind of frozen, you can totally do that too. And we just plate it up. All right, there is some fantastic keto chow peppermint bark. And this is made high protein by our friends there at keto chow. So I think this is gonna be really, really tasty, but of course I don't eat stuff like this. So I'm gonna get my wife to come on screen and see if she can tell you guys what she thinks. Um, looks very, very pretty, very pretty. Um, I have not had actually peppermint bark in years but I love the sweet stuff, it's my weakness. I'm going to do a little dance. Mm. Oh, chihuahua. That is super, super good. Um, the milk chocolate, super sweet, creamy to me, great flavor. You have, um, you can really taste the peppermint. It's almost like that taffy, kind of like, it's not overly sweet. It's not something that's very rich, where it's like you're going to feel like you're going to just kill over, but it has really good flavors. You can get, you get a good mix of the chocolate and the peppermint. And then it's also good grips of something that is basically crunchy and yet soft and smooth all at the same time. This is dangerously good. What I love about it is it's full of uh, protein though. So thanks keto chow. Makes me feel a lot better when I'm sitting there eating this on Christmas day. Mm. Super good though. Mm. It has some good stuff. It really is definitely worth making it. I bet this would go great at your holiday parties. Good job, babe. All right, y'all, you heard it. She loves it. That is the Keto Chow Peppermint Chocolate Bark. Keto Chow, thank you all so much for sending me the peppermint to try out. There's a couple more packs that I think my wife is going to probably thoroughly enjoy. I have a feeling she's gonna want a peppermint milkshake at some point in time. Although I'm not eating it, I love what Keto Chow does and my wife loves the way it tastes. We just really appreciate them. I really love Keto Chow and I love what they do. So if it fits with what you are doing on your particular diet, Keto Chow I think has the best flavors in the business for this kind of stuff. I love working with them. My Keto Chow link is gonna be down below. If you are interested in trying out some stuff, go down there. You can use that link. If you use my discount code, you can get a 10% off discount on your first order. Thank you so much, Keto Chow. Really appreciate you guys. I hope you guys try this for your holiday parties or for whatever it is you would like to use some bark for. Just remember to enjoy. Have a wonderful holiday season, whatever you celebrate. And remember that we love you very much here. Thank you guys for watching. This is Chris Cook in Nashville. Eat your meat, maybe your peppermint bark. Love your life. And I'm going to see you guys here in the kitchen for the next recipe.